Then I'm going to turn it around again. Good morning, guys. It's actually not morning, it's noon. Uh, I had all the plans of saying good morning to you uh, from home. However, when I was getting ready, ready, Christopher was going out the door and he's like, you're getting ready? You're gonna leave now? Uh, I, should I wait five, 10 minutes and we can go together? And I couldn't like say to him, no, you go ahead. I need to vlog first. Uh, so I just didn't vlog. I uh, ended up uh, instead just heading off to work and getting into work a little bit earlier, which meant that I could get home much earlier. So it's uh, just uh, like half past 12 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, I got home, I sat down to have some lunch. I only had like a bowl of cork because that's all I'm gonna eat. We're gonna have proper dinner tonight uh, at Mall Scandinavia and we're not having like i didn't want to buy a whole bunch of things home when we're not going to be home so yeah uh that is what i've done so far i am yeah and i also checked us in uh when you fly with sas you can do um check-in i think it is 24 hours before liftoff I think it is, I'm not sure, it could be 22, but I think it actually kind of uh, ticked me on my mobile phone and get notification from the app that you should do it now at around 9ish. And um, I couldn't do it from work, so I did it as soon as I could go get home. And that was good because I needed, I needed the passport, so I get all the numbers, but I also needed the address to the hotel and stuff like that. But we are now checked in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. so uh it's getting more and more real uh it's a little bit i don't know it's a little bit nervous i'm a little bit nervous about it anyhow uh i am going to uh, put on some more youtubes because i'm having youtube going on in the background and then i'm gonna start really really packing i'm gonna take everything that i am going to take with me that is going into the uh, checked in baggage and gonna pack that and that also gonna include some uh, colored pencils uh, a sketchbook some pens i was considering taking with me the sketchbook because i usually do that uh, have one with me but i decided i'm gonna take with me one with the ipad pen and then a uh, normal um, one or two normal pens just in case one of them doesn't work uh, to do cross stitch and crossword puzzles because I like to do crossword puzzles on take takeoff. Um, I love traveling. I'm not fan of flying, so I do crossword puzzles on the takeoff and then I do other things um, on the journey. It is a almost 11 hour flight so yeah but I'm gonna have with me my all electronics needs to go in the check um, the cabin baggage so I'm gonna have my computer my laptop well my laptop which is my computer uh, but um, my iPad my phones and also my Nintendo is going to go in so I have to uh, get that organized and ready so I can put it into my bag also. Uh, so I'm going to try to do as much as that possible. I just want to sit down and, and kind of stitch because I'm still quite exhausted. But nah, not right now. Um, but I'm going to put some YouTube on in the background. I'm going to brew another cup of coffee or make a cup of coffee in the machine because I only had half this morning. <laughs> And I think that also might be a little bit why I'm tired. So I'm gonna do some coffee and get ready. And I also need to uh, edit yesterday's vlog. That I'm not gonna take that much time. It's more mostly chatty things like this. So yeah, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I just got home and today has been a big failure from my side. Um, I was supposed to pack which I'm going to do as soon as I, I stop vlogging. Uh, but I got home, uh, I was really, really tired. So I sat down on the sofa and decided, well, I'm gonna edit the vlog and then I'm gonna continue packing. And after I edit the vlog, I 
uploaded it and while I was waiting for it to process uh, I kind of started looking at advent of code and I ended up sitting and doing that for three hours and then Christopher called me and said hey now I am on my way from work let's get and go and eat and pick up the last couple of things so yeah I didn't get that much packing if you're wondering what advent of coded it is a advent calendar for coders so you get a new set of uh, kind of challenges every day that you can do it takes like an hour to code from for a shouldn't take more than an hour to code probably I would say I don't know it depends on uh, your level I know that there are people out there that uh, finishes these things in like seconds uh, I'm not that and also I decided to learn a somewhat new language uh, I have coded in Python before which um, was a year or so ago it was a while ago and uh, they have released some uh, the next generation and that has so many syn syntax changes so it's almost like a new language but it still works about the same so uh, i decided i wanted to learn that just for the uh, code questions because i haven't really i don't look into new languages that often so i decided to do that and i got um I kind of got lost in that instead of packing I did that however I did pack together my pens and I picked out my pencil sharpener and stuff like that so yeah um, <laughs> that was that that is where the day went and uh, now I'm gonna pick my clothes together we're gonna do a wash and uh, then we're gonna just pack when I'm packed I can sit down and take it easy again but yeah that was a very quick uh, get to what has happened. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm super exhausted, um, but I'm hoping that just relaxing for a couple of days when we got have come to the hotel uh, kind of will fix that. But yeah, we're gonna pack now. We're leaving. We're leaving in less than twelve hours in less than four hours this is so wonderful i'm so happy guys i thought i'd show you how i move my frame while it's out of the frame so here's here she is here she is she still have a little bit of a wrinkle just across her face but that is uh, going to straighten out but i'm going to show you how i fix this i know that this isn't the best angle but i don't have any other angles so yeah eh. so let's start when I start with this, I always start on the back side because I think it's easier. Um, so I'm gonna frame the area that I want to be able to stitch. And in this case, um, I need to frame this border because I have all of this here that isn't stitched. And then I uh, want to get as much as possible in here. So I'm gonna do, so I have about an inch on that an inch over here I'm gonna have about an inch down an inch up that's about what I need to frame one page on this is an 8 inch Q snap and it is on a uh, 25 count so for me one one page or one one page in a column fits perfectly in here so that is the first step to kind of get that straight kind of line it up with my grid I'm then folding this over a little bit and folding that over. I'm taking my uh, felt piece. I have felt pieces. These are green, uh, happen to be the ones I had, but kind of fits with the project. I'm clamping down the first clamp and that will be pr pretty straight on that side. Then I'm gonna turn it upside down. And in this case, I have to keep track on all the threads so I don't stick any one of those down then I'm just gonna kind of tighten it up as much as I can but still being careful with all the stitches again covering with a piece of felt it's more important on this side where I have all the stitches to cover it because then these uh, even if they're a little bit hard on the edges here they won't uh, hurt the fabric my felt pieces is just a little bit longer 
try to make sure that I put the clamp so that I don't put it on top of the uh, kind of vertical bars. Uh, so I just press, press, press that down. Then I'm going to turn it around again. Um, kind of just straightening everything out as much as I can for that edge also. Again, another piece of felt and another clamp. Then I'm going to turn it around once more. Again, making sure that those threads doesn't get stuck. Taking a piece of felt and clamping that down. And that should make this pretty good tension. So now I have moved the frame. Now I need to put back on my, this one, the uh, grime guard, that's the word. So what I do is I take the fabric out, this, all around it. And uh, in this case, I'm going to move, it's, it's pretty much in the middle, and that is actually the hardest part to get it. Um, folded good. So what I do is I carefully push it out. If you push too hard you will get these uh, flipping off so you need to be careful about that. But you open it up and then I take a corner and I fold it in and then I kind of fold that double and I fold it again and then I just wrap these down. I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side and wrap it down. Uh, this can be a little bit fiddly because as I wrap one page, the uh, one side, the other side will want to wrap up. Take my little grime guard just to hold it down. I'm gonna put it on this side. Just to hold it down, I'm taking the grime guard, folding it towards me here. Um, it's more important to try to get the fabric off the back side because that's where you can accidentally stitch it down otherwise. Again, you make this little round around. Now I have it on three of four corners. So now I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to do basically the same. I am going to take the opposite corner. I'm going to fold it in with to that corner, to the only corner that hasn't got the grime guard. I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna fold it again and then I'm gonna fold it again. Uh, the fabric that doesn't have any stitches is so much easier to wrap. So now I'm gonna just fold it around that corner. Then I'm gonna wrap this around. See, I have a whole bunch of fabric. And now it kind of depends on which side you want it on, but I'm gonna just wrap it over again, just fold it over again and fold it in so it, it's hidden in the grime guard. Um, like that. You can, you can wrap it. Hey, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking it out because that wasn't a good idea. Um, I'm gonna fold it around the corner instead. So here's the fold and I'm just gonna continue wrapping it in here because it will hold better. Um, I always experiment with new ways but this is the absolute easiest way. So now I have pushed it into my grime, grime guard. So it is now in the grime guard and it's pretty stiff. I, if I want it to be stiffer I'm just gonna kind of tension by uh, taking my two thumbs and just pushing it backwards and then you can tension up the fabric and yeah. And I don't mind this so much because I have such a little piece of the corner left there. So it works out pretty good. I have needle minders, but I don't fly with needle minders. I'm a little bit worried about having electronics close to magnets because those things usually don't go together very well. So I never fly, because I stuff this into the bag where I have all my electronics, I don't fly with grime guards, or oh, with, uh, with needle minders. So I just, I'm gonna put it on one of these and I'm gonna leave it at home. So when I'm traveling, I just use the edge here of uh, the fabric 
to put my needles on and I usually put around the 10 needles so I have needles on my project when I'm traveling in case I drop one I still have a couple to take but yeah that's how I pack it uh, into this I'm going to show you then how I pack my bag when I come to that part so I promised to show you how I pack my full cross stitch into my bag so this is my bag um it has broken a little bit here so i can't open it more than this but this is a sandquist ground bag that i got from work so i've already put down my computer and my ipad so that is filling some of it up then i'm taking my full thread box and I'm pushing it down, oh, sorry, I'm pushing it down all the way down to the bottom. I have nothing else in there when I do that, so it looks like that. I am going to put in my hard drive in there to fit in. And I also have a bag of cables, which I need to close together, but that would go in like that. And then I have my cross stitch, which I basically just slide in on top, um, like this. Now I have a couple of other things, but Christopher has a lot less things in his bag, so they do fit in his bag. Uh, then I don't need to get anything bigger than this. And this actually fits a lot more than you can think it would. But yeah, so I fit it down like this, I can get my pen pen here I'm also gonna put in some extra threads um, and then I have my sound noise cancelling that I'm also going to take with me but yeah that's basically all I have with me I'm gonna have some meds and stuff but they are much much smaller so that they don't take a lot of space here and the rest I'm actually gonna put in Christopher's bag but yeah that is my carry-on doesn't contain that much but it contains enough I do have my big computer charger up here because I'm probably gonna need to charge my my computer that was the last of it um, I still have two mobile phones that is going to be on charge I have a little few things uh, like my nose spray and stuff that needs to go into my bag uh, but otherwise I think I have everything I need to have with me both uh, checked in and in my yeah check-in baggage and carry on my check-in baggage uh, is basically full of my clothing my medications and then I have the pencils and two sketchbooks and that's it I have not taken anything else craft wise with me because I don't feel like I <laughs> going to need it i have a lot of plans of what i'm going to do on our downtown downtime already so um i don't think i will be able to fit anything in there um and i have a couple of plans to get a couple of paper pads from michael's a bunch of threads from michael's that is something i i'm going to do either on the flight over or on the first day i'm going to go into my excel sheet of threads and i am because i have the pattern in my computer i'm actually going to take the next pattern my next cross stitch and i'm going to go and buy some dmc uh, for that so that is one one of the things that i'm going to do um but yeah that was both me and christopher is super tired we've been kind of walking around in circles and trying to figure out if we're done or not but it's time for us to head to bed i'm gonna go brush my teeth uh get ready and head to bed um tomorrow morning at 5 30 we're leaving and heading off to florida it's just I, it hasn't sunk in yet that we're going tomorrow usually we as i've said this all of these days usually we have a lot more time to plan and all of those things and we just haven't done it this time around and yeah 
I'm gonna do a second check because I just realized I might have forgotten one of the cables so I have to go in and check in my bag uh, that that is is with us um, otherwise I think we're done so I am going to end it here I'm gonna say good night slip tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye